It was a style of a different era that caught James's eye earlier this year. Londoners Gary Hillman and Faisal Khan wanted to give the world's smallest production car a new lease of life, needing an £80,000 investment for a 10% stake. Whilst on a family holiday in Florida, I went into a place called Ripley's, believe it or not, who have all the world records in their museums, and I noticed they didn't have any cars. Very soon, we had an order for two cars at £15,000 each. This gives us the opportunity of 15 million paying customers seeing our cars, therefore an, an, an extraordinary opportunity to sell toys. I don't think it's just the toys. You know, we can develop the brand further to have board games, remote control, and also uh, could form a character. The replica life-size models of the classic Peel cars were an immediate hit with the Dragons. Yeah. We've got space for one more. <laughs> when they actually got in the cars, driving around, everyone's having fun. The, the brand could be from Matchbox toys to remote control toys, a lot of variations. Tell me about the remote control. What's the remote control idea? Well, just a remote control car. Last Chance Saloon, James Kahn hasn't said a word to us yet. Like the old saying goes, perhaps, no news is good news. Guys, tell me about this Ripley's contract. So, so far, they've bought how many? They've bought 14 in total, so far. OK, and your instinct is, over the next 12 months, what's your gut feeling as to what you think they're going to buy? Another 12. It was definitely a relief to hear that, you know what, there's someone of these five that see what we see, that believe what we believe. I also understand that, you know, and you've been quite up front, you say, we don't know, because maybe a dragon can help us. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to make you an offer. I'll offer you the £80,000, but I'd want 50%. Can we have a moment? Sure. I don't think we could have done the deal at 50%. No, I just don't think couldn't we could have done it. No. no, because obviously me and Fires were 50 50. And if he takes 50, we're only 25 25. Is it worth doing it, basically? You know, so, yeah. so, He'll have complete control of our yeah. company. What we'd like to do is offer you from our stock of eight cars one of each of the models, and 30% of our company. And if in two years' time we don't make £80,000, we give you the money back and you keep the cars. When they came back with the counter-offer, I must admit, it did put a smile on my face, because it's what we call in the trade, it's a very technical phrase, it's called a no-brainer. The only thing I could think of, the only phrase that was screaming in my head, was, got yourself a deal, guys. <laughs> Good. It's the world's smallest car. There's so many directions we can go in right now. Faisal and Gary left the den with that all-important offer. But before a deal is actually signed, a rigorous period of due diligence follows. You right? Hey. Hey, yeah. The business plan going forward will be based not only on the sale of the vehicle, but the merchandising around it. And there's no better place to start than the museum where the vehicles are on display. Well, here they are, fights. Here they are. <laughs> Looks so we came to see. <laughs> this guy makes Peter Jones look uh, a pipsqueak now. Yes, yeah. Oh, they've done us proud. Yeah, excellent. Let's see. Today, James is at Gary and Faisal's Lewisham HQ to get an update on how the plans of his new business partners oh, are progressing. Hi, James. Oh, yeah. Good to see you, Gary. Right. Okay. One of the things that is important, I think, when you came into the den, one of the things that I made, you know, quite clear that, that what I'd like to see is a proper business plan. That well, work in progress. I mean, if, if we're honest, where we are now is we've got so many different um, opportunities, mm. um, and obviously there are. It is just myself and Gary, so it's about working smart. Mm. This is really exciting, and already, you know, in a space of a couple of weeks, I think we've generated a lot of excitement. Yeah. Um, so I think you absolutely need to focus and make sure that that business plan, you know, you've got to prioritise on that. And until that point, I'm totally happy to continue, you know, working with you, you know, in an advisory capacity 
because I want to see this work. Yeah. You know, are you, are you comfortable with that? Yeah. Absolutely. With the deal a step closer, James is a step closer to playing a full part in the future of Peel. Wow. Helping breathe life back into the brand that ceased trading 36 years ago. So what have we got here? This is like a... My little toy store. Is that, is that actually the original? The original. Yeah, oh, wow. Originals, yeah. They're each worth approximately £100,000 each. The duo may now own the original name, but they share the design with a faithful community of enthusiasts. It's very important for us to keep this British, and obviously what we want to make sure is that we now continue um, to, to put this brand in its rightful place, which is on the, you know, the, world, the world stage.